You are Canada's top chef. It's an amazing job. Really amazing, amazing job. Round of applause, 821. And yes, Nicole Gomez, the winner of Top Chef Canada All Stars, here in the house for Three Ingredient Thursday is our challenge to you. But you were just saying that you've barely watched that. Yeah, I did a charity event at Home and Away for the neonatal intensive care unit. For the finale. For the finale, mm -hmm. so I was busy the day of the event on the Sunday. And Purposefully? Well, I mean, maybe. Yeah. I don't really like watching myself on TV. Oh, it was so great. So we loved watching it. Oh, good. So moving. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes, Thank you. I, this is great. Um, now, is this a game changer for you? How has, has life changed? Well, life has changed um, in the regards of going out on the street. Right. I mean, people like are, recognition. Yeah, factor. people are so nice and like um, really con congratulatory, and they recognize you. Yes. Um, but I'm really just trying to live my life the way it was, and. Um, move on with the business and that's kind of why you do it too like Absolutely. just to grow yeah. to grow you know okay so can we expect new things or you're you're still well, in the trenches nicole gourmet has been uh, just celebrated its 11th year so i'm still full on with nicole gourmet yeah um catering with that and cluck, cluck and cleaver. cleaver i have an amazing partner my sister yeah so she's running that but we're working on business development so awesome. another location in um alberta and then um hopefully out west to good vancouver for you. Good for yeah. you. and it must be inspiring to be amidst competitors like that on a national scale you know so every, every tough competition it was and everyone was really great on the show like yeah. honestly it was it's the level of cooking was really challenging for me yeah. with everybody else like there's some really creative people and you really got to focus totally yeah and, totally different focus and what do they call you the tes is it tasmanian devil yeah, yeah. that's it that's it okay yeah, yeah. well you look very organized here i am with only three <laughs> ingredients and how was this challenge for you three ingredients so thursday. i actually did a whole meal so it's three ingredient thursday and it's actually of very you did. it's it's really simple like you just and this is the way you should eat at home it's quite healthy yeah so i did a uh, pasta to start okay it's called cacio pepe cacio pepe is usually done with peachy which is a tuscan um, pasta that's hand rolled into spaghetti. It's really mm. thick, um, but you can do a spaghetti, and it's basically pecorino cheese, pepper, and butter. That's so it. So that's the three ingredients. And actually, I'm even short an ingredient because I'm allowed to use pepper. The challenge was that I could use salt, pepper, and oil. So look out! You're taking this seriously. So the two you're, ingredient you're in. dish. Okay, okay, you're in. It. Yeah. Okay, so there it is. So yeah. that's put together for us. Cacio e pepe is fantastic. And these, this is your roots. So you love to cook Italian. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great. Um, What's and, next? And for a summery kind of dish, I chose radish, asparagus, and salmon. Mm -hmm. And salmon's in season now, so this is a beautiful spring salmon from Vancouver Island. It's baked slowly, 300 degrees, salt, olive oil only really slow that's the thing with salmon for me it needs to be unctuous and not like canned tuna yeah no and thanks on sauté how slow how slow, how slow? Uh, 300 degrees this thin this kind of fillet this thin would only take like about six minutes mm. but 300 degrees no more no convection just plain soft cooking okay and i've got sauteed asparagus on the bottom yeah. and i applied the asparagus in another way by shaving it for a salad into strings like this so, Clever. Yeah, you can do that. I was trying to, I was trying to get creative, and then um, I salted some radish. Okay. Yeah. If I could have added a fourth ingredient, it would have been a good squeeze of lemon over the top. Sure. And then I drizzled it with olive oil. Beautiful. And, and then I did a dessert. Um, this is easy. It's sugar, egg yolk, raspberries. And where do you sit with desserts? Do you like making desserts, or are you like everyone else in it? Well, you don't cooks want that generally dress, yeah. don't like to do a lot of desserts, so they're quite simple. Okay. But um, I do have a background in some desserts. Like, okay. I know pastry in a little bit. All right. So but, how do we make this? So over um, a pot of water simmering, mm -hmm. um, I have a bowl that doesn't touch the water with egg yolks and sugar. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Egg yolks and sugar, and I whisk it till it's thick like this. Okay. So and that's the consistency. Yeah. And then I have these raspberries, and these raspberries have been marinated in um, black pepper. Oh. Berries and black pepper go together wonderfully. Really? Yeah. And coarse, even coarse. Black pepper, Nicole. blackberry, raspberry, You're changing my life right now. Okay, I had and, no idea. And basically... When you said marinade, I thought you were going in a different direction. Yeah. And continue. this is gluten-free. It's just egg yolk and sugar, right? Uh -huh. And you just pour this sabayone over the top. It is the most divine thing. And, and what's the ratio egg yolk to sugar? It's two egg yolks to about a quarter cup of sugar. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, and you know, you can add a booze. I, I was only allowed three ingredients, but I would add a booze. It, in this case, I would add sherry or marsala. And put it on the berries? Yeah. In the or on egg the yolk, side? Egg yolk and the sugar. And a shooter glass? <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Oh, you could do that too. And then what, and that goes in the fridge or what is that? What no, happens that's there? it. You just eat it right away. That's it? Yeah. 
Simple. Yeah. Okay, three ingredients Thursday. Here you have it, a three-course meal from the winner of Top Chef Canada All-Stars, Nicole Gomez. And, of course, you've got your catering. You've got Cleck and Cleaver yeah. and onward and upward from there. Onward and upward. We love seeing you win, and we love seeing you compete oh. in representing Calgary. Thank and you. I hope that that uh, success continues. Of course it will. You're so talented. Thank you. Okay.